Welcome back to another video folks and as you can see we're back in the desert I'm glad to say I finally got my British Infantry Elements finished for the 8th Army Force uh, You may recall I finished the tanks and I finished the gun teams uh, like artillery and anti tank so now it's on to like, the core infantry So this is everything I'll need to get playing I would like to do more infantry for future use this is as much as I'll need to play Flames of War though. You can see there's two platoons of infantry, company command, mortar platoon and heavy machine gun platoon. And these are the full blown infantry platoons, not motor platoons, which um, motor platoons are really only in practical terms a support for tanks. You know, they, they lack the staying power and the support that you can get in full blown infantry platoons. Let's have a look. Um, first of all, let's go down to the company command. Now, I've actually not yet finished, I've just noticed I've not yet finished the cat band for the the one I see. There's a bit of work to do in him. Now, the eagle eyed off you may spot that these are actually are the late war Italy infantry. I decided to purchase them because they came up in the Battlefront late war sale and I was thinking what am I going to get for my 8th army infantry that's in metal. It's not that I don't like plastic actually I do like plastic to be honest but the, the sculpts of the 8th army infantry are just not to my taste. The material is fine. I don't have a problem with it at all. But when I saw the late war Italian infantry and the short sleeves, I thought these will be ideal. And I mixed them in with some extra... Well, I mixed certainly some of them. One of the platoons, like this one here, has got a mixture of the late war Italian infantry and proper 8th Army guys in shorts. When you look at um, footage on YouTube, like from a Tunisia mainly, that's what, I, what I've mainly been looking at but I'm sure elsewhere too they might all be in shorts, some might be in shorts some might be in long trousers, they all might be in long trousers some would appear to be sort of desert fatigues, other ones just sort of standard British um, European fatigues so this unit here has got a mixture of everything it's got the sand coloured fatigues and the uh, typical British uniform brown some guys long trousers, some in short trousers so there's plenty of character in the unit there's a lot going on and that helps it to stand apart from these guys who are all in uh, long trousers and they're all in desert fatigues so it's a good visual difference There's a mortar platoon. Now where's the command base? There we go. So you can see I've painted a observer though. To be honest, in Flames of War just now, the chances are that they'll, they'll be relying on the honey for uh, the honey observer team. But here I've got a command base. Oops, move up a bit which has also got an observer on it, so they're obviously the guys taking the, the instructions, the uh, firing the coordinates, etc. So that helps signify who the command is. These are all in the... These are the first ones I painted. They're all in the um, desert uh, fatigue, so it's long trousers. And you notice I've used a lighter coloured shirt with them, and it's actually green-grey. The other ones, let's see, they have got my usual, um, the same colours that you saw me use on the uh, gun crews for their shirts and a lighter colour for the, the trousers. Um, and I like that combination of colours but it wasn't going to work. Well, in fact it's not even, uh, it's a lighter colour than, um, uh, than green grey. I'll put the colours up in a minute. Uh, I'm actually having to hold 
the light with my left hand at the moment, so I'm a bit uh, restricted. Uh, but this colour would clash too much with the colour for their backpacks. So that's why I went for the this, the, this more brown shirt colour you can see. Right, and then we've also got heavy machine gun platoon. There's the command base there with the command figure on it. So if you give me one second, just probably put this light down, I might change the lighting quite a lot actually as it turns out. It's quite a bit dull, but just so I can show you some colours here folks. Um, so, whoops, something's fallen off behind me. Not anything critical I hope. I dropped a whole tray of figures yesterday, I couldn't believe it. In fact, three trays of figures. Um, at a wee uh, gaming day, so I was a bit devastated by that. Uh, first colour, here we go. This is a colour used on the trousers. On the trousers. No, it's not. That's talking rubbish. This is a colour used on the trousers. Right, so I'll just put that there. And I highlighted it with... Where are we now? Highlighted it, where are we? With... Dectan. And you can see that's really strong contrast, but that's what I'm after, especially with the desert guys, for that sun bleached kind of look. And then the shirts uh, on the infantry, where, where are we? Old wood. With the highlight of, whoops, a dizzy. Iraqi sand. Once again, you can see it's a nice strong contrast and highlight. And then the backpacks. Where, where are we now? Backpacks and webbing. Green grey. With Splinter Camel base. As a highlight, so once again, where are we? You see, quite a strong highlight, and I've got to try and remember what the hell colour I used for the the mortar shots. But you know what? I can't quite remember, so I'm not going to uh, labour that too much, folks. I'll just try and get some light back on the situation. So there you go. There's the shots for the infantry trousers for the infantry backpacks and whoops actually one thing that I've forgotten folks is good old where are we good old model colour English uniform and it's this colour here that I use for the highlight for it so let's just take a wee look that's you can you see the mixture of uniforms, uniform colours and, and shorts and such likes. So it's a bit of a veteran battle-worn unit. So I'm looking forward to having some proper attractive mid-war desert battles in the very near future folks, so stay tuned for that. The basin has been done in the same way that you see me doing like the, the gun teams, but they needed a layer of um, uh, the, the kind of stuff I use, like just basic sort of polyfiller type, you know, ready mixed filler, because they don't go into round bases, they're the old metal ones, so I just had to build up the surface a bit. But that gave me an opportunity to make an uneven surface. Some of them have got little rises, little, um, excuse me, try and bring that back a bit, just little lumps, so it's not a billiard table flat surface before the, the sandy material goes on top. So, oh, zoom out a bit. So there you go folks.
I'm very, very pleased to have this done because time is off a premium for me just now. I'm going to be moving on to a couple of other projects um, that a couple of friends have asked me to finish off for them, which I very, very much want to do. And then I've got a few things to finish off for the desert. 88s for the Germans, for instance. And um, some transport to eye candy, basically. And then I hope to get on to my long stalled Midwar Eastern Front project. There's so much I need to paint for it. So much infantry I need to paint. Just to get up to the level to play Flames of War, but there's other things that I want to be doing that needs a lot more infantry. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge for me time wise and for my poor old eyes. Anyway, hope you think that there's a nice attractive force. Give you some ideas for the colours you might want to use. And maybe some ideas for the basing too. Thanks for watching folks. Please stay tuned. Hopefully get a battle report with these guys up in the very near future.